Okay, so as you guys know, I bought a brand new plow this year. This is the new plow. It is the Western 7.6 Pro Plow Series 2. And I put it on the truck, and what I notice is I can grab the plow. Watch this. Watch these rams. See how much I can go? Slide those rams in and out by hand. So I called the dealer, and they said that there is air in the system. So they said check the fluid level, make sure it's full, and then lift the blade up all the way and go left, right, left, right, and when you get to the right, make sure it's bottomed out, which means is make sure it's all the way to the right, and then hold the right button down for like five to 10 seconds. Then go left, right, left, right, left, and hold it and hold the button on the left position for five to 10 seconds, and that will burp all the air out of the system. And then just check it again. You said you should be fine. So that's what I'm gonna do and we're gonna find out. Well, the first thing we decide to do is to drop the plow down and check the fluid. And good thing we did, because it was a little over half a quart low. This thing was almost three quarters of a quart low. That was ridiculous. It should not have been like that, um, especially for the kind of money I paid for it. But I pulled the plug off and it uh, shot out air right away. So it definitely had a bunch of air in there. So we top it off and then we raise it up and do the procedure I just explained. And after we got done with that, it still moved a little bit. So then I did the procedure again, checked the fluid, the fluid was full. And so now it moves like maybe an inch left or right if I grab it with my hand and try to do it. But when I turn to go around a corner driving with it, it'll move two to three inches either way. So I think there's still maybe something wrong. And if I can't figure it out, it'll be going back to the dealer. The project of the day is to install the new wings on this blade. The new plow markers, because I don't like these. And then timberins for the front end of the truck. I already have timberins in the back because of the camper, but we're gonna put them in the front, same as I did the other truck. But first things first, we're gonna do the wings. Well, here I am real quick, just popping the old plow markers off and putting the new ones on. I just really don't like the new ones that they've gone to. Boss has gone to the same style in a lot of their blades. There's Ryan's dad coming over, old Vietnam vet, great guy, but he's always there to talk crap to us and uh, just give me and Ryan a hard time, but we love it. But anyway, um, a, a lot of plows have gone to a new style with them, thinner plow markers with the flags on them and some of them just the thinner plow markers. I don't like them. I'm not a fan of them. If you look back to my past videos, I bought a set for the boss plow that I had because I thought I would like them and I didn't like them right away. So I changed them out to those fat orange ones that I bought from Napa, which I still need to go get a set of those for the wings um, because they, obviously they stick out a lot further than the regular blade. So um, I didn't film it. I thought that uh, I was going to film us mounting all this and we end up running into a bunch of obstacles, so I never did. I'm sorry about that, guys. But here, watch the rest of this. Okay, well, it's done, and they're on there. I forgot to turn the camera on. We ran into a whole bunch of issues. We had to notch out the plate itself to go around the blade there. These are universal wings, but... Um, we were just going to move them, move the mounting brackets up higher, but then it threw everything else off. So we just decided to cut the angle out of the wing, which doesn't matter. Nothing's going to get through there anyway. And then we notched out the pads. They want you to put them on there, but then have the pad hit here and have the pad flexed at an angle. Well, the problem with that is it's too hard to hold on to get it to drop down onto the brackets so that you can get that one in there and get these on it was a two-man job ryan and i one was pressing in the other one trying to put the pins in and it was hard so we figured we'll just notch out the pads and i'm pretty sure it's what i did on the last one i'm not sure and then the same thing over here we had to notch out the plate down at the bottom then notch out the pad on the bottom and it's all hooked up the same way so 
that's it. Now, we will see here. We'll see how long it is. It's a 7.6 blade, so we'll see how long it is from uh, wing tip to wing tip. Let me mount you here. I'll measure this and we'll see what we got. If I can get it to stay on there. I don't know. It might be difficult. I'll just go from there. That'll give us a rough idea. So I am now nine foot three inches. So I went from having a seven six blade to now a nine foot three inch blade with the cupped in wings. If you guys remember on my last plow, my boss, what I did was I cut the plates. I cut it straight down there. I brought this whole side in and then welded it. So it made it kind of like a box blade. I'm not gonna do that to this one I made down the road, but for right now, I'm gonna leave it as is. If I, I really wish they would come in more. I like that cupped in. It definitely helps out better, but this will definitely help. So that is that for this plow and this thing is ready to go. Well, I just added timber into the front end of this thing. Super simple, they take 10 minutes to do. You can see that's it right there. You can see that black round circle, that's the timberins. And it's just one nut on top, you take the nut off to get the old one out, and then you put the timberins in and the bolt runs down through. That's the old one. That's what was in there. Um, I already put them in the back. They were in the back for the uh you can see you see them big fat round black circles right there that's the timberins for the back both sides i did those when i got the camper because i didn't like how much the camper sunk my truck but now i don't like how much the plow sinks the front end of the truck so i uh just put those in they take 10 minutes they zip right out you jack up the front of the truck so that the A-arm drops down a little bit, and then you can stick them right in there, bolt them in, and lower the truck back down. Super simple. I've seen a lot of guys do them on YouTube, and they had to take apart the shock, and they had to take apart part of the suspension, this and that. I didn't have to do any of that. It may be because I have a two inch leveling kit in there, so there's the extenders on the bottom of the shocks already, but uh, I didn't have to do any of that. So super simple, took me 10 minutes to do both sides, they're done. And now the plow or the truck shouldn't drop as much when I do the plow, but that's my day. I had to change those uh, markers out on the corners of the plow. Um, I got the new ones. I'm giving Ryan the ones that came on the plow. I put the wings on the plow, and I got the um, timberings in the front end. So that's what I wanted to do today. That's done. Now this truck should be ready to go.